Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome to Market Psychology 101, where we look for value in the markets when there's fear and are cautious when there's greed. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the cryptocurrencies, altcoins available on Robinhood. Some of these I do talk about in my Coinbase videos and in the rainbow chart, so I'll try to fly past Bitcoin. I won't be talking about USDC, obviously. And if there are other common ones we talk about a lot, I'll try to fly through those. But starting off with fear and greed, you got to love these advertisements by Temu. Um, yeah, wow. Anyways, fear and greed, we are up into greed. Over a week ago, we were just down into extreme fear. That's right when I got back from vacation. I was like, guys, this might be a really good opportunity to buy. Again, we want to look for opportunities when there's fear there was one and bitcoin has been going up that was the lowest we were in fear over the last year i am still slightly concerned about this downtrend we do have lower highs lower lows so if that were to continue could there be one more flush coming this year wouldn't surprise me however on the opposite side of the coin this is the largest base we've had even with 2021 for fear and greed and so i do wonder if higher prices are coming sooner you can see even when we were making lower highs the alt season and true top was here in april so we have an even larger base i'm curious to see what that means and how price and everything plays out with crypto alt season index we'll talk about this more tomorrow in the rainbow chart video but you can see we're chopping sideways i am slightly concerned that you could see if we were to draw a trend line it has broken sideways from it so who knows maybe we're just gonna kind of accumulate here and then shoot up that would be nice in 2020 2021 we had three spikes for alts we haven't even had that yet though i do wonder how they calculate this because there are so many more altcoins is this chart being diluted by all those that aren't doing anything i don't know just something to think about we'll talk about the rainbow chart tomorrow all you guys got to know is that we were getting down towards touching the accumulation phase and then we went back to the upper end of the still cheap phase which was where we were at the having earlier this year so bitcoin uh right now i have on the macd indicator it is showing things are pretty positive right now so we'll take that one off we'll add on our We'll add on our buy sell indicator. If you want me to do more RSI, that's fine. Obviously, Bitcoin, it's had 10 green days in a row. So I, I do wonder, after 10 days, typically we do see somewhat of a pullback. Wouldn't surprise me. This gray line is as close as I could draw to the prior all-time high in 2021. So I wonder if these wicks are going to form kind of a top here. Maybe come back down and then shoot up something like... It, I'm horrible here. Something like that. So... We'll see. Keep an eye on that for Bitcoin. Overall, though, things have been pretty bullish. Um, it is still in this downward channel, though. So here's this trend line that Bitcoin's been going up from uh, ever since the, the beginning of this bull market. Uh, but if it does tag the upper end of this channel trend line and gets rejected on the daily, you'd be eyeing somewhere around the low 63,000. Uh, but if it breaks out guys we could be looking at much higher prices this trend line connects all the way back from the tops in 2021 you can see the two tops we had here and yeah i didn't quite hit the other one perfectly so you know the trend line could come down a bit so maybe upper 80 thousands might be a target if bitcoin were to break out of here so let's go through this list of all the altcoins we have ethereum Doge, Avalanche, Shiba, Chainlink, Bitcoin Cash, Uniswap, Litecoin, Ethereum Classic, Stellar Lumens, Aave, Tezos, and Compound. So let's start off with Ethereum. I'm going to try to fly through the, the more popular ones that we talk about on the regular. So Ethereum here. Um, let's put this bad boy back on log scale for our FIB. We're looking at price action in between. So it is above the 786. And it's got to retest its former all-time high. Ethereum hasn't broken it like Bitcoin has. And you can take a look at ETH slash Bitcoin. I have to go to all here. Uh, or crypto. Huh, maybe not. Let's just give this a try. 
Okay, yeah, here we are. We've drawn trend lines before. So ETH slash Bitcoin. It, the way I drew this out, now obviously these, uh, these lines aren't perfect. Let's redraw that. Something I am looking for is, wow, it, when we take into account this base, I haven't drawn these trend lines in a while, and obviously they were crap. You can see that maybe, maybe you come back down, but if ETH Bitcoin starts to break above the resistance, which it hasn't yet, on the moving averages, this is the weekly, that it's possible the ETH Bitcoin comparison, uh, it, it could flip. And when it flips, that tends to lead to an, a type of alt season. It's good for alts. So yeah, ETH, you can see it's forming this triangle, this flag pattern here, and maybe it's getting ready to shoot up. So uh, ETH, get ready. Get ready. It's possible we might be getting into some new highs. As far as market cap, we're at a $400 billion market cap. And if we were to think about possible price targets for ETH, I know 10K ETH has been talked about a lot, and that would be around a $1.2 trillion market cap. Uh, but you can see we have a 2618 above 10K. That's around 11,278. So maybe that's a better area to target. Next, let's go to Doge. I said I'd fly through this. I'm already failing. All right, Doge, we've been in this downward channel, at least we have been, and it broke out. So invalidated. That's good. Might come back down to this and get a bounce, uh, which is fine. But Doge, it has to get above this 382 right here at around the high 13 cents. And then next we have 19 cents again at the 0.5. And last time Doge got to the 0.5, you can see here ran into some trouble. So maybe it could have some take profit areas before coming back and blasting through. So if Doge gets through there, that'd be a good thing. Um, and I'm just going to say this for Doge, but this applies for a lot of these coins I'm going to talk about today. Guys, in 2017, a lot of the altcoins that were very popular did very well in 2021 many of them only got back up to the macro 786 on this fibonacci retracement scale and i draw the fib you take this till you draw from the prior high to low xrp civic many others only got up to the 786 so when i'm talking about these coins if they were very popular coins in 2021 maybe have a plan just in case they stall at the 786 this time around and don't get higher each cycle brings with it new popular altcoins. You know, instead of Doge, people talk about Pepe. Instead of Shib, people talk about Bonk. It, instead of, um, it, I had another one on the top of my mind, uh, but I, I, I lost it. But yeah, Pepe, Bonk, kind of new. Oh, Solana. You know, XRP was the darling altcoin in 2017. I believe Solana is going to be the most talked about altcoin in this cycle. Um, but yeah, just possibly set some take profits targets around that 41 cent level just in case maybe you can get somewhat of your return on investment back and then play with house money should we go higher so uh yeah that's what we got for doge let's go to avalanche let's see me stumble here avax of course i had one of those moments where i'm like I'm 90% sure that's AVAX, but I want to <laughs> type it out in case it isn't. Here we go. It, it, I wanted to make sure it's the one I've charted before. So AVAX had a nice base there at the 382. So overall, that's still bullish. On the weekly, you can see here it's right at the 50-week moving average. It, it has to get above this 35. That's a 0.5 fib. Let's move over to the... Let's move over to the daily time frame. You can see we're at the last bit of resistance. Body of the candle got up to the 100. The wick got to the 200. So fight some resistance. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll go down a little bit and then break back through. Uh, but yeah, it's right at the 200-day moving average. And after that, again, it's got to fight 35 to get through. But if it does get rejected, come back down, uh, I'd be eyeing 30. And then at worst, 20, the high 25s. Next, let's go to SHIB. And yeah, so Shiba, kind of the same thing as AVAX. Kind of exact same thing, though it's it's more under the resistance. Um, it, again, it may come down to the 382, 382 at about uh, four zeros and then one six. 
Um, but if it gets above this uh, four zeros and then the two, then next we're looking at the, the 2201. And you can see here, SHIB has had a lot of time in this range. You know, it broke down. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't surprise me to see it get back between the 618 and the 0.5 uh, at the four zeros and then the two five somewhere in there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and guys, you know, these numbers, by the way, all because the number is smaller. If any of you are new to crypto, that does not mean this is a cheaper asset. Okay, you have to take into consideration market cap. You can go to uh, crypto or coinmarketcap.com and look at market cap. You can see they have different prices, all because XRP is 0.6 as a $34 billion market cap. So if you wanted to go to six bucks, you would multiply the 34 times 10. It'd be worth 340 billion. Um, but you have to do the same type of calculations with these other things. So please, for the love of God, do not ignore market cap like so many other YouTubers do. That was my uh, YouTube channel there. All right, uh, next let's go to Chainlink. Chainlink, probably my favorite. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it works out. I love Chainlink. And let's see here. Let's put it on back on log scale. So Chainlink, what's going on? Getting above the 0.5 fib, it's got to battle this uh, $16 level here at the 0.5. Um, it is concerning to see this head and shoulders that is created. So let's say Bitcoin does get rejected at the top of that channel. You know, Chainlink could come back down to somewhere around the $9 range. I'm not even joking. Um, however, this does look like it, it wants to play out so you know hopefully chain link gets above gets to and above that 16 dollars range and then then it's got a battle 21 at the 618 bitcoin cash b cash um, you guys got a you got some homework there's this interview uh with the bitcoin cash creator and this guy keeps calling it b cash and the dude flips out and flips them off. So you can see see here, Bitcoin Cash. It, remember what I was talking about, guys, with the uh, 2021, how coins only got back to the 618? What? Or the 786, sorry. What did I tell you? 786, just like XRP, same thing. Now let's go from the last cycle. Oh, God, 786. <laughs> Might this have been the top for Bitcoin Cash? You know, if any of you have Bitcoin Cash, I hope not. Um, you know, hopefully this does better for you, but this downward trend line, I don't have any Bitcoin cash, but this does concern me. Um, it would have to break above that trend line to, for, for me to believe in it more. So, you know, that's around 600, it gets lower as time goes on. So, you know, that's hopeful. Trend lines are only good for as long as they're good for, remember that. Um, but yeah, that's concerning. Anyways, it, it's above resistance it's all support the 0.5 very strong support at around th the low 340s next is 485 but yeah i it just like i was telling you guys watch that 786 for coins that did really well last cycle not saying you shouldn't buy now but that's the true test I, i've seen that with so many altcoins next let's go to uniswap and uniswap we have a brand new 200 week Moving average, which it is underneath, it's right in between the 50 and the 100, uh, but it's down here. It's got to get a bit above uh, the 382 at nine. If it continues to break down, if things got bearish, and there's a lot of, it, you can see it's trending up. So if it did have a bad breakdown, then six bucks. Litecoin, LTC, yes. So Litecoin, you know, this is one where. Uh, it's had a nice base. You know, it, it didn't create too much of a bigger high uh, in 2021. You know, the highs here, it did get to a new high. It went from 363 to 413. Um, but let's make sure we put our FIB back on log scale. We're not we're not looking at the, the crazy price targets quite yet, but it's right down at the uh, at the 236. And so, and it's on this trend line. So if you're looking for good deep value, there's a couple areas to show. You know, we also have green on the weekly. This is probably one of the best value times to buy Litecoin, should you believe in it. And, you know, if you only need it to, to do like a, I don't know, four or five X, if we get another amazing cycle, not, nothing's guaranteed, 
you know, that we'll get another amazing altcoin cycle again. But if so, this is really good value. I, I really like what this chart shows. I don't love altcoin. I don't own any uh, full transparency, but, you know, chart overall looks like a strong base, my opinion. Um, let's see. Let's go to Ethereum Classic. And yeah, kind of same thing. A lot of base down here. Now, I do wish some of these charts were stronger. Uh, if we were to look at, well, you guys remember Chainlink or even Solana, which is one of the strong, probably the strongest looking altcoin chart. A lot of these are way down here. It's not the best thing. Is there possibly really good value? Sure. Uh, you know, but be careful buying these guys. You know, if, if the charts are staying down here, that means less people are interested in it. You know, so if you're hunting for more value, you know, do your research. Again, you, you want to get the stuff with the higher volume, what people are actually putting their money into. Uh, but if you are looking to take some plays, uh, it just, this goes for all these coins, just be careful, you know, with these 2017 or 2021 coins. Uh, but ETC, right in between these moving averages, right at the 236, gotta get above that 23 level. Um, and then the next test would be 35. You can see it's sold out. So 35 and then blast off. But right now it's gotta move up. Stellar Lumens. Yep, same thing as before, even weaker chart. So all these moving averages, two, three, sixes, resistance, uh, they're at the 1.123, 200 weekly MA at the 135. So it's got to get above that. You can see it, it's been following the 200 MA. It has wicked above, um, but it's really got to have candle body closes completely above as well as the 382 over here at uh, 0.175. So right now, Stellar Lumens, not looking too hot, but those are the areas it's got to break through. All right, and then next one, Ave. Um, same thing, a little bit stronger. Moving on up, might come back down to the eight, high 87, or actually high 86 mark there at the 236, but if it breaks above um, the 100 moving average at 100, next we have the 382 at 127. Gets above 127, things will be looking good for Ave. Tezos and Compound. I told you guys I'm going to try to <laughs> fly through these. Ho hopefully th this is uh, better for you guys. Let's draw a let's draw a fib here. You guys can see how how the magic happens. You just draw the fib from the high to the low. Man, this thing's beat the shit. Sorry for the language, uh, but it's got to get above the three two again. You can look at this as hey, it's deep value, and if there's an alt season, this thing could go up. Yeah, yeah, you could. Uh, you could also look at it as no one wants this. Uh, you know, so just be careful. Uh, hopefully this bottom, you know, is a base. And if you do buy some Tezos here, not saying you should, nothing here is financial advice. Um, you know, you got to get through this buck 17 range and then the 200s come in down here at the uh, buck 74 range. You get above that and then, and then we are go for launch. Last one, compound. Compound, compound. All right. Yeah, kind of same thing as Tezos. So got a lot of these, man, it, it's sad to see, you know, but these 2017, 2021 coins uh, beat so badly. They're underneath, you know, the 236 still. So got to get above that 236. We have the 50 moving average on the weekly at 55. Um, 75, got the 100. Look at that, the 200, which spawned in right at the 0.5. So it's got a battle here. It's got a battle here between 75 and 92. And then big battle at 144. So... Any of you guys own any of these altcoins on Robinhood? If you do, comment below which ones you like. Uh, or are you more into Coinbase and some of those coins? Because there's way more options. Let me know because I think in the future, I might just stick the Coinbase videos and going over those. I feel like the Robinhood ones aren't as talked about as much. But if you want, and I get some feedback saying to keep doing Robinhood videos, I will. If not, I think I'll probably just stick to Coinbase because... Yeah, there, there's more, I think, uh, op better opportunities there. But let me know in the comments below. Anyways, happy Monday, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.